Toy Fox Terrier. Advantages. Fits well into a household. Sorry. Fits well into a household. Hardy, healthy, and spirited. Good watchdog. Disadvantages. No drawbacks known. Right. This playful, this playful breed is popular because of its hardiness and guarding capabilities. Its size has made it adaptable to city life. The breed is recognized and registered by the United Kennel Club. The National Toy Fox Terrier Association is the official breed organization that sanctions state and national shows. Size, height, no requirement, weight, three and a half to seven pounds. Exercise, these dogs self-exercise. These dogs are self-exercisers. They require space for daily exercising. Grooming, the short coat of the, of the Toy Fox Terrier requires no special grooming other than occasional bath and brushing. Origin and history. In 1912, the United Kennel Club began registering the Smooth Fox Terrier. Between 1912 and the mid-1920s, a miniature variety was developed. These dogs were almost identical to the modern Toy Fox Terrier, but were still registered by UKC as Smooth Fox Terriers. In 1936, the UK began registering the Toy Fox Terrier as a separate breed. In 1948, fanciers who had spent years breeding the small terrier met to form the National Toy Fox Terrier Association. Show, show requirements, general appearance, bright and energetic with great spirit and animation. Appearance of a miniature smooth fox terrier. Length of body is equal to height. Movement is smooth and flowing. When moving, the back should remain straight. The head and tail carried erect. Coat, short, satiny, and slightly longer at the ruff. The body is predominantly white and can have black or tan spots. White is free of ticking, although some speckling is permissible. Tan points appear on the cheeks and above the eyes. The white and tan dog's points are, are lighter and or darker shades of tan. Head and skull. Skull is slightly rounded with a medium step. The pointed muzzle is medium length. This is a little guy. Nose is black, eyes are round, dark and expressive, never bulgy. V-shaped ears, carried erect. Tail, carried erect and set high, docked with about three fists taken off. Feet, compact, oval rather than round. Teeth, tight scissor bite, overshot or under bites, faulted. So that's the Toy Fox Terrier, just a little guy. Now here's the Toy Havanese. Toy Havanese, advantages. Loves children, quick learner, good watchdog, non-shedding and odorless, obedient. The Havanese is a rare breed, even though its numbers are growing. The breed is not recognized by the American Kennel Club by its own registry and has an active national club, the Havanese Club of America. The club is working towards rec recognition for the breed. The Havanese is an intelligent and charming breed. It becomes full-fledged member of the family. Size, height, 10 and a half inches. Weight, 13 and a half pounds. Exercise, this dog adapts to apartment living or suburban life. Daily walks are necessary if a fenced yard is not available for exercise. Grooming, this dog needs daily brushing. Curly coated dogs can be trimmed for neatness. Origin and history, the breed, the breed origin the breed originated in Western Mediterranean Sea area and found its way to Cuba with Italian sea captains. Sailors presented the small dogs to the Cuban woman. Many wealthy Cuban homes extended a warm reception to the sailors on receiving such a charming gift. The breed was reintroduced to Europe where it became popular. In the following years, the breed lost status and became nearly extinct. Due to efforts of a few devoted Cuban families who emigrated to the United States, the breed was saved. In Cuba, these dogs are, are these dogs often help with daily plantation life, herding cattle or other ban barnyard animals. They entertain children with games and protected the family with devotion and courage in the face of danger. The Toy Havanese is a family member and companion. Constantly busy and always curious, is intelligent and quick-witted. It has a natural ability to please owners. Show requirements. Color, shades of white, cream, gold, chocolate, silver, blue, black, or combination of these. Pure white is rare. Coat, soft ranging from slight wavy to curly. May be clipped to give a neat appearance, but natural coat is preferred. Head and skull. Skull is broad with the front rising slightly to a moderate stop. Muzzle is not sharp or blunt. Cheeks are flat and lips clean. Lips and nose preferably black. Brown pigment is permitted in chocolate dogs. Pointed ears are dropped, forming a gentle raised fold. Eyes are large, dark, and almond shaped. Eyelids are dark, giving the eye soft, expressive look. 
The body is longer than high with rounded ribs and well-raised flanks. The line of the back ends with a dropped croup. Tail, carried over the back, plumed with long, silky hair. Look at that, it's like a fountain. All right. On the Japanese Spaniel shortly. Oh, they're kind of cute. He's got a lot. Oh, he's got a little beard going on. All right. See, see you shortly.